when I think about the Small Business Person of the Year Award, Alan came to mind immediately because he embodies what that award is all about. Alan is a very laid back but creative person. Uh, he has a uh, great professional sense in, in finding what the customer's needs are and then delivering it in a flawless manner. Alan is the type of person when you meet him, you immediately think that you've always known him. He believes in having top-notch employees and top-notch equipment and he delivers a show that you won't forget. And many artists have said, whether they're regional, whether they're national artists, they have said, wow, what a great sound guy. My wife, my kids, I mean, that's where my inspiration comes from. They're my driving force, you know, my family is. You know, having 17, 18 em employees is also a driving force. I don't want to let them down. I mean, the, the people you have with you. I mean, I didn't build this business. I mean, this is done from a, you know, one big happy family of people working here. Uh, people that enjoy their job, people that love what they do. It's a passion, you know. Whatever you want to do in life, it's got to be a passion. Alan has a very unique business style. He's uh, very casual, uh, which helps calm his customers, but he's also very professional. Dealing with musicians is, is probably not the easiest thing in the world, and, and, and over the years he's been able to, I, I think, become established a name for himself in, in, man, in doing the sound for a lot of these groups and entertainers who are very, very particular, and, and he's able to please them and also give them the quality of sound that they expect. I think other small business owners could learn from uh, what Alan has done as having a vision, having a goal, and having a plan and having the work ethic behind that plan to not stop until you meet all those goals that you've set out for yourself. I, I guess the main thing is just, you know, following your dreams. You know, my company, my wife pushed me into this. I had gone as far as I could in my other job and I had this business on the side, sort of doing it part time. At that point, she said, you know, it's time to go out and do this on your own. You know, make a business out of it. He has uh, definitely uh, put Sparmerg on the map as a, as a go-to in this field. Spring Fling was a total washout on Sunday. The Friday and Saturday it was on and off, and Alan was there personally. And, you know, we look at each other and say, okay, is the show going to go on? And he says, only if it's safe. And so we have fun while the work is, is really top-notch. It's a small business owner. He started his business from the ground up. Um, is a big supporter of Spartanburg, but has grown his business to a national level. You know, they started very humbly uh, out of his home, grew through multiple locations uh, into their current facility to become a, a leader in the industry, uh, not only in Spartanburg and South Carolina, but regionally and, and throughout the country. I go to him and Alan will make sure that he has the right equipment and he'll make sure that I am covered regardless. And it's one thing that I can be somewhere else in the festival, in the footprint, and know I don't have to worry about the sound. And to me, that's the highest recommendation someone can give to someone else in special events. A great personality. He has a lot of fun to be around. Um, his wife, who's also an entrepreneur, has done great with her business, and it's just a really great story. You know, just enjoy what you do for a living. It's, it's a miserable existence to go to work every day doing something you hate.